Welcome back. We're here with our Powerhouse Roundtable. Standing by to discuss a year packed with political comebacks, Mark Sanford takes back a congressional seat in South Carolina. Anthony Weiner jumps into New York City's mayor's race and is an instant contender. And the latest, also in New York, Elliot Spitzer, the former governor, resigned in disgrace five years ago after getting caught with prostitutes. But there he was, taking New York City by storm this week, entering the race for controller, the city's second most powerful job. Elliot Spitzer joins us now from Manhattan. Good morning, Elliot. Thank you for joining us this morning. And I do want to get uh, to your comeback. But first, uh, this breaking news overnight on the George Zimmerman uh, verdict. You're a former prosecutor as well, former attorney general. Was justice served? This is a failure of justice. I don't think there's any other way to view it. The judicial system is not perfect, and in this case, it has failed. And before we get into a conversation of whether the prosecution was flawed, that they should have handled it in a different way, there is a simple reality here. An innocent young man was walking down a street, was confronted by a stranger with a gun, and that innocent young man was shot. The criminal justice system should be able to deal with situations like that. It didn't. So, and, uh, so should the Justice Department step in now? Well, the Justice Department will step in, but it's in a very dicey position because there has been a criminal case. Double jeopardy is a fundamental principle in our American uh, judicial system, as it should be. And so it's going to be hard for them to come back at, uh, at, at the defendant. And boy, this is just a, understandably a hugely emotional moment for many people who say, that could have been my kid, could have been my son. Where are we when the simple principles of justice should be applied? There are notable examples where our judicial system has failed. It is not perfect. Look, I will say this. It is still the best system in the world bar none. The jury system is what we have to rely upon, but in this case, it failed. Let's get to your race now for Controller City of New York. Probably a seat you didn't ever expect to run for, but boy, you were back on the streets all week long and really shook up the race and instantly uh, became the biggest topic of conversation here in New York. Here's the cover of New York Magazine uh, coming out tomorrow. It shows an amalgam of you and uh, Anthony Weiner. Uh, Wiener on one side, Elliot Spitzer on the other, and it's a comparison your political opponents are already making. Here is Christine Quinn running for mayor of New York. She says the question with both Anthony Weiner and Elliot Spitzer is, what have they done to earn this second chance? I don't think we see all that much from either of these men that would put them in a position where they would have earned a second chance, redeemed themselves from their selfish behavior, and earned a second chance by New York's voters. Your response? Well, my response is, George, first, I have done a fair bit. It's been five years. I've taught. I have written. I have participated. I've hosted a few TV shows, and uh, so I'll leave you to judge whether that is, is a moment <laughs> or not. But, but I have done things that are important. Thank and goodness I'm, asking, I'm not facing the voters. And, and, and I, that may be the case. Nobody in the media for that matter. But I've asked the voters of, of the city to, for forgiveness. But I've also said, look at the totality of my record. The independence of my voice when it came to Wall Street, when it came to standing up on the environment, low-wage workers, immigrants. Uh, we were talking about immigrant rights just a few moments ago in, in, your, in your show. Years ago, remember when I said undocumented immigrants should have driver's licenses, the heavens opened and descended upon me. It's now the law of the land. It is accepted across the nation. We've been ahead of the curve and perhaps most fundamental independent on the issues of finance and Wall Street and integrity in our capital markets, which is the heart and soul of what the controller's office is all about. My mandate is to be a fiscal watchdog to make sure the pension funds are invested well, to make sure the city's budget is being spent where it should be spent and for the purposes for which it should be spent. And I think the public, and you referred to a poll, I don't take polls and rely upon them, but the poll numbers reflect the public is interested in having an independent voice in that position. But that is what I promise I will As you know, be. your opponent, Scott Stringer, says you're a lawbreaker, failed governor. That should disqualify you. Well, look, the, the opponents will say all sorts of things. The, uh, the, the voters will make that determination. I think the voters are beginning to be heard. I'm seeing it in the street when I uh, talk to voters and when I talk to citizens, and they're saying, look, you have erred. You, you have owned up to it. You looked the public in the eye five years ago, and you said you believed in accountability. You stepped forward and accepted responsibility, and that is what I did. And that is a fundamental point uh, that I think the public should look at and I hope will pay some, some, uh, give some deference to. But the record that I acquired as the years as attorney general, as a low-level prosecutor doing misdemeanor cases and then high-level cases against organized crime, and then as attorney general and then governor, where we reformed the state budget, we fully funded education, we reformed health care, reformed the unemployment compensation system, and you know, there's a lot of pushback from Wall Street about the cases we made, but they have won, they are right, and they said years before the cataclysm of 2008, not just that these are individual cases, but there's a systemic problem that we need to confront, and that was the argument that I was making. It's, it's an that. argument that I'm making a book I have coming out called Protecting Capitalism. I'm a capitalist. The book says capitalism must be protected, and that is what we believe in. And that record before the voters now, Elliot Spitzer, thanks very much.